Right guys, hope you're all doing absolutely fantastically out there, wherever you're tuning in from, whatever time it may be. For me, if you're wondering, it's the 7th of September, 2.48 in the PM, down here in New Zealand. So today, we crack on with the list of the top 30 NBA players of all time, apparently. This video is titled, Watching Julius Irving Until I'm Impressed. Prior to going to YouTube, typing in Julius Irving and watching the first one on the list, I'll just read you a wee blurb here. Dr. J was everyone's Michael Jordan before Michael Jordan. Okay, I've actually never seen this guy play. But come to think of it, Dr. J, Julius Irving, that does ring a bell. That rings a bell, and, and, and the bell it rings is NBA Street on PlayStation 2 or 3. I'm not, not completely sure, but I did play a bit of NBA Street. In fact, I had a few fucking uh, pretty... Well, I... I actually got pretty good at it, to be fair. I think it was three on three. Three on three, back and forth, NBA Street. Either way, that's enough talking from me. Dr. J was everyone's Michael Jordan before Michael Jordan. The NBA merged with the ABA in 76. I've got absolutely no idea what that's about. Because of the doctor, there were a bunch of other great players too, like George Gervin, and he continued to take another league by storm after winning two chips with the Nets in the ABA. Okay, so there were two conferences, two organizations he was the star of one because there were so many good players that were not in the nba yet i don't know why they weren't i don't know what happened it was in 1976 14 years before i was born either way he helped the Sixers make the finals during his first season in the modern nba but lost to bill walton's blazers in six games dr j floated through the air as his lanky limbs cut to the rim actually that that does ring a bell i think i think the major the the the, the main dunk Sorry, that Julius. I think he, he could almost um, jump from the three-point line. He just went up with one hand like this. Just one big hand, like literally, I don't know, 20, 20 feet in the air. Came down and absolutely slammed it on motherfuckers' heads. And he probably did that in real life. Floated through the air as his lanky limbs cut to the rim. And his hair blew in the wind. I can only imagine how that shit looked back in those days. It was probably like watching an alien. Sometimes I watch his reverse layup during the fourth quarter of Game 4 of the 1980 Finals against the Lakers and try and figure out how the hell he was able to stay in the air that long. His reverse layup. Hmm. He looks as if he's at least seven foot. And he's not all style and flair either. Irving's career numbers are just as impressive as his plays. He averaged 24.2 points per game, 8.5 rebounds per game, 4.2 assists per game, 2, two steals per game, and 1.7 blocks per game. He also made 11 NBA All-Star teams, won three MVP awards across the NBA and ABA, and made the 75th anniversary team. Dr. J is the godfather of the modern NBA. And with all that in mind, guys, the Michael Jordan before Michael Jordan existed. Let's have a look. Now, how on earth are there so many different Juliuses that actually rank above Julius Irving? I, that, I'm flabbergasted at that. Either way... Top video, as you know, Julius Irving highlights, uh, until I'm impressed. Julius Irving, otherwise known as Dr. J, was one of the legends in the game of basketball. Look at the hair! Both in the ABA and NBA. Winning looks like a fucking... Both with a ball like that, it looks like a, a, a Harlem Globetrotters game, I must admit. Leagues. What do we got here? He was one of the most fascinating, high-flying figures whose dunks were as flashy as they were polarizing. In honor of his Hall of Fame Oh, and he posterized career, someone. These are Whoa! Have a look at that. Yeah, that's... There's... there's yeah, that's the clear... That's the... That's the action. That's the motion. That's what I remember from NBA Street. That's Julius Irving, and I'm impressed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.